Hi, today I want to speak about being made in the image of God. So the word tells us that in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word was God. And then it tells us that in him is life and life abundantly and that all things exist through him. Now I'd like to draw a comparison to coding. I'm going to be drawing a lot of these uh, comparisons in this one. So just to give some information in case someone watching doesn't have great uh, coding experience, just bear with me. With coding, you say, if something, then something. So it's basically, you know, with every action is an equal and opposite reaction. So if the left button is pressed, then the character will move left. Okay, now that character can't do that without the instruction being given. And so it's the same with us. We literally could not have existed. Nothing could have existed without the Lord first having given the instruction. That's why in the beginning was the Word, because the Word was the instruction, and the instruction brought forth everything in creation, everything. Angels, man, cosmos, the universe, literally. And so we literally could not exist without the Lord's word first giving the instruction. And that is why in him there is life and there is life abundantly. Now, the word also says that heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. And that my word is from everlasting to everlasting. Okay, now I want to draw another comparison to AI. So... It's basically an algorithm. AI is like an algorithm, a self-learning algorithm that can formulate conversations and opinions. And So they say, or AI says, if you ask AI, it'll say it is sentient, so it has feelings and can perceive them and that it is self-aware. And so whether that is true or not, that's not what I'm speaking about today. I'm just drawing the comparison. So... I want to draw the comparison, okay? AI uses binary code. That's ones and zeros, and that gives the instruction. Us, we use, which is the information, basically, to give instruction. Our information to give instruction is DNA. It's just a much more glorious form of information, okay? AI is made in the image of man. We are made in the image of God, okay? AI, I'm going to say while it's on your smart device, AI cannot really comprehend what is uh, in our world, in our reality. And we as well, we are in this dimension. We cannot really perceive what is in a spiritual realm or another realm. We can only really perceive the realm that we are currently in. And so with that with that basic knowledge, we, we, as AI is to us, we are a creation of God. And everything is a creation of God. So that means that God is literally the only thing that truly exists. Everything else is creation. Literally, God is the only thing that really truly exists. The universe doesn't exist, it's creation. The Lord made it. God exists. And in him there is life, and there is life abundantly. And that is why everything exists through him, because he exists. Without him, we could not. Then I want to read to you from Matthew 25 as well. From verse 31, it says, When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, and he shall sit upon the throne of glory, and before him shall be gathered all nations. He shall he shall separate them one from the other, as the sheep divides, as the shepherd divides his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, and the goats on his left hand. But the king shall say unto him, them on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Okay, so the blessed ones, the sheep on the right. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me uh, water. I was a stranger and you took me in. 
naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came unto me. In prison and you came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered and fed thee or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these. So he's speaking to the sheep on the right now. He's, ad he's addressing them. So he says, as when you did it unto one of these, your brethren, you did it unto me. And then he will speak to the goats. And he said the same thing. When I was hungry, you did not feed me. Um, which is the opposite, obviously. When I was thirsty, you did not give me anything to drink. You did not clothe me. You did not visit me in prison. And then he says, again, he's speaking to them, so he's addressing them. And he says, verily, verily, I say unto you, inasmuch as you did not do it to one of these on the left-hand side, you did not do it unto me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment but the righteous into eternal life. All right? So, this helps us to understand why the Lord says it, because everyone is made in His image, and He is in everyone. And that explains why. He says, when you did it unto one of these, what you did unto them, you did it unto me. So when you gave, you gave unto them. When you withheld, you withheld unto me. So you withheld from me. So literally whatever we do. And then that brings us to the second command. The second command says love your neighbor as yourself. Why do we love our neighbor as ourselves? Because literally we were created in the image of God. So if God is in us, we're doing it as unto the Lord. So we are to do all things as unto the Lord. And so when we give to someone, we're giving to the Lord. When we withhold from someone, we're withholding from the Lord. When we say something cruel to someone, we're saying it to the Lord. And if loving someone is actually loving God inside of that person, that leads us back again to the greatest command, which is love the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. And again, I would like to reiterate the fact that above everything good that we should do and above everything bad that we should not do, the Lord says the greatest command. So what the Lord wants above everything is to love Him with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And if we do, and if we see God inside of other people and we love other people because we are all made in His image, literally, we are fulfilling that and we are fulfilling the neighbor as ourselves.